today we're going to open up what I think is a Japanese pack of Torment. Now, Torment holds a special place in my heart because I collect Grim Lava Mancers. I'm actually working on a glo global set right now. I'm pretty close. There's about 40-something different Grim Lava Mancers. Um, because Torment was not printed in uh, every language. Yeah, there we go. The JP for Japanese right there. Um, while M12 was printed in all other languages. And got Chinese twice because Chinese simplified and Chinese traditional. Um, Torment was not printed in Korean or Russian, I believe, but I think it's printed in everything else. Um, <clears throat> I haven't opened up a pack of Torment in a while, and I think maybe I've only opened up one foreign pack of Torment. Uh, so this is Tainted Wood, I believe. Torment came, uh, was a very black, uh, heavy focus set, while the set after it, Judgment, was very white and green. There's a cycle of Tainted Lands, um... I think it's as long as you control a swamp, it taps for either of those colors, otherwise it's just colorless. Um, mana fixing wasn't very good until uh, one slot came out and you had the fetch lands. <clears throat> but for black, these were pretty good. Uh, the uh, Tainted Isle, I believe, was used in Psychotolic, which was the big standard deck at the time. Um, yeah, I don't remember what this does. I'm not going to remember what a lot of these cards do. This was like an, an enchantment that has a couple activated abilities. Um... I don't know what this big old creature does. Oh, and you know, I just noticed the uncommons are first. I forgot about that. Um, in Japanese, uh, what if I something that's very, fairly common? Um, so let's let's really uh, hope I get a Grimlava Mancer. Okay, I did not. Um, maybe there's still foil chance. I don't know. Um, you know, this looks like a centaur, but I don't remember what he does. He's got some activated ability for a uh, a black and two colorless. Uh, tap, but I don't know. Alright, no Grim Lava Mancer, but, uh, <clears throat> it, you know, the uh, the artwork and the old frame and everything, especially with the red cards, I, I really like the way they look. Um, the interesting th thing about, um, Torment is that the white cards, and uh, I can't remember if it was on foreign or English, but, uh, the resolution got messed up on them. So they can look a little fuzzy. And that's not just my camera, but my cards. Um, I feel like this is some sort of, I remember this artwork. I don't know if it was some sort of enchantment that had an ability on it, or if it was an actual, like, infinite sorcery removal spell. Um, this guy may just tap for mana, I don't remember. Some triad. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember if this was Aquamoeba or not. Aquamoeba was a very heavily used card in Blue Green Madness, some um, discarded card, and it had some effect, but I don't remember. There, again, I remember this artwork, but I don't know what it does. Uh, cards were a bit worse for the most part back then. Um, so the card. See, all these creatures have been pretty expensive. This is Rancid Earth. I really enjoyed Rancid Earth. It's a uh, Short target land for three mana, pretty standard, but it has an ability with threshold. Um, where if you have threshold, it gives all creatures uh, minus one, minus one, or it does like a damage to them. Uh, I played this in, uh, temporarily in a vintage land destruction deck I played back in like 2002 um, to help deal with creatures that they was able to get in play before I started destroying lands. Um, some cabal, like cabal execution or something. It's ability to destroy creatures. Um, I think this was obsessive research. It's got like one blue draw a card, um, but madness uh, one blue draw a card. So you could discard this to like wild mongrel or aquamoeba or some other ability <clears throat> and pay that and you'd still draw a card, which was pretty sweet. And this is some protection spell, it looks like. Um, so anyway, um, I actually really like the taint of the wood the way it looks um, in the Japanese with the text, the dark border, and everything. That's pretty sweet. Um, I like this artwork. It actually looks a lot like Grimlava Mancer and the, the color scheme is going on and everything. Um, and we've got this rare centaur. So that's pretty cool. Look at all that text up there. Maybe it's some legendary creature. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, if you know what any of these cards are, um, I like if you'll just comment on the videos and tell me, hey, I looked this up. This is what the cards are. Um, if you like watching these type of videos, uh, hit subscribe. And um, if you think anybody else will be interested, share on whatever side of Facebook. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all.